Hello friends, I'm Oom and today we are diving in the fantastic world of Linux again. And today we are going to look into some amazing and beautiful customizations from Unix Pawn. So let's get started shall we. Now our first customization is from Blood i3 and as the name suggests it's an i3 customization. Now the particular one which I wanted to show you is this one. As you can see it is almost close to GNOME desktop environment but way better. Let me just show you properly. Now as you can see it is in a really good customization. Even if we talk about the whole dashboard or the start menu or the overall look feel of the top bar, the windows and the bottom menu which shows battery life, sound, time and etc. And it is a pretty functional and pretty beautiful also. It looks like it uses pastel color theme but with a twist of material you design. And now this person has created a lot others as well. For example, this beautiful one as you can see right now. Now when we take a look at it, then as you can see here, now it's better. Now these pastel color themes are actually amazing. And especially this one as you can see. Just a plain background along with really beautiful tiles with all more material to design. Now as we can see, it you, they have installed it on Ubuntu 18 which means obviously available for the latest ones. And then they have a lot of other colors as well. For example, this one, this one, literally. And then how the window tiling manager works is in. And then we have the blue variant as well. And the orange and the red. And just this one. The cyan but with a little frosty design. But this is something when we open it properly. This is how it looks like. Most of the stuff is a little panelish like. It doesn't have a start menu or anything else. No icons. It's just text with the required information and that's now there are some warnings for this one as well for example this one is an old customization which means there are a few things which might be changed because linux is constantly evolving but the installation process is really simple and all the stuff is here in their github drive and i believe they must an installation process and if you have any problems with that, then you can just ask ChatGP to help you in the process. Now, let's go to the second, which is an XFCE customization. So, yep, low end PC users are gonna really enjoy this one. Now, this one uses Papyrus Icon Pack, as I can see. But along with the XFCE desktop has been heavily customized, but it's really lightweight. And then I believe it's almost like window tiling manager but with proper floating as well. This is really nice. Now the link of this one is also in the description. The installation process should be pretty simple for this one as well. Yeah, you just need to apply the themes, configs and that. That's it. And now let's move to the last customization of the video because I'm a little busy in my life right now. So yeah, top three are great. Wait, so this one is ver new. It works on his machine powered by black magic. Wow, that is now it is an i3 customization, but actually way better than the others. It has a floating top bar, which includes all the icon packs you need along with the workspaces. And then the quick settings menu is pretty okay as well. And then as we can see, it uses floating window along with window tiling manager as well. Now the best part I like about it is the pop up things, for example, Take a look at this one. This is the brightness and sound. Then we have this one which shows the shutdown menu. And then we have the top bar looks. And it is pretty lightweight because it is i3. So yep, it is gonna be really awesome for those who have low-end PCs. And now he's properly showcasing everything as well. For example, starting with the, fi the Firefox theme. Yeah, this is a nice. Maybe the best in my opinion because the music player is also like he has properly customized each and every component of the whole operating system. And this is the most well maintained repository on GitHub page I've seen till now. With proper installation notes to help you installing this customization. And with that being said, I hope you have enjoyed the video. And if you do, then subscribe for more awesome tech videos uploaded on this channel regularly. And I'll meet you next video. Till then, I'm Oom signing out.